Welcome. <laughs> I'm laughing because I have a message for somebody today. And I want you to pay close attention. Very close attention. God asked me to ask you, whose clock is ticking? Whose clock? You've been saying the clock is ticking, the clock is ticking. God wants me to ask you, whose clock is ticking? Is it God's clock that is ticking? <laughs> he says, I should tell you that he lives in eternity. There's no clock that is ticking on, on his side. Stop the comparison. Stop it. We always tell the story of Sarah and how Sarah laughed. I didn't know until now that Abraham also laughed. I know I've read it many times, but it did not even hit me. Because we are told in Genesis 18 that Sarah said, Shall I? Seeing that I am old, shall I indeed bear a child now that I am old? That is Genesis 18, verse 13. Why did Sarah laugh and say, shall I indeed bear a child now that I am old? <laughs> and God said, is there anything too hard for me? Let me go back to Genesis 18, verse 12. The Bible says, So Sarah laughed to herself, saying, After I am worn out, or after I am old, another version says, I am worn out, and my Lord is old. Shall I have pleasure? The Lord said, Why did Abraham laugh and say, Shall I indeed bear a child? Now that I am old. But the interesting thing is that Abraham too had laughed. Abraham too had laughed. In Genesis chapter 17, the Bible says in Genesis 17 verse 17, Abraham fell on his face and laughed <laughs> and said to himself, Shall a child be born to a man who is a hundred years old? Shall Sarah who is ninety bear a child? So if you are laughing and you are thinking and saying, how will, how can, and you say the time is ticking or the time has gone, it, you know. God said to ask you, whose clock is ticking? Whose clock? Because if God is the author of your life, then there's no such thing as the clock is ticking. Because God makes everything beautiful in its time, and he knows the best time to make life beautiful. And you say, oh, I, I missed it. Well, maybe you missed it. But when you get on God's wagon, God can recover time for you. I've told you that over and over again. Whenever God is on your side, Whenever God is on your side, there is no such thing as the time is ticking or the time is past. Remember, Joshua stepped into ministry at age 40. When God, when Moses handed over to him, so to speak, he and Caleb while the two were part of the 12 that had been sent to spy out the land of Canaan. For 40 years after Joshua, Caleb was just floating. Nothing was happening. He was just floating. And there were things that God had said would happen that did not happen. And then finally at age 80, 40 years after Joshua, he and Joshua were contemporaries. He came to Joshua and said, both of us were contemporaries, Joshua. Look at what has happened. 
We went out together. Give me my, let me take my own inheritance. At age eight, Caleb now stepped into his inheritance. Whose clock is ticking? Is it God's clock? Stop comparing yourself. Just get up, get going, get doing, hold on to God. You are next in line for a testimony. You are the next success story. I've been saying the same thing over and over now for about three weeks. And God is not a talkative. When he's repeating something over and over again, it's because he's doing something. God is working something out in your life right now. No clock is ticking. None. Whenever the devil tells you your clock is ticking, tell him God's clock does not tick. God dwells in eternity. There's no clock in heaven. And because there's no clock in heaven, God is able to reverse things. He's able to fast forward things. He's able to pause things. He's able to do anything and everything. Whatever your case needs, whether it's to fast forward, whether it's to rewind, whether it's to pause, whatever may be needed, God will do it in your life. No clock is ticking. It's Fumio Bilano. Reflections.